Hello folks, welcome back to our course. So in this chapter, we are going to check what are the package management tools or the commands which are available with the Linux. So package management is nothing but used to install the various applications in your Linux environment. Now we have a three commands which mostly used or popular in Linux. First is apt-get which is the command line tool for handling the packages which means by using this command you can install the packages on your command line. Next we have a apt cache. Now cache is used to query the apt packages. Now it will give you the information of that particular package, the version and everything. And it will also show you whether the package is installed or not. Next we have a aptitude. Uh, this is similar to the apt get only thing is that it it has a simple graphical user interface by using which you can install the packages also it will show you the information that how many packages are there installed and the other information related to those packages now before wasting any time uh, let's get to the practical aspect of this now first what i will do i will go with the apt get so apt get is used to install any of the packages with our environment so let's say i have to install a python in my linux environment what i will do i will just simply type apt get install python you see could not get log front end it is held by the process okay so this this thing is used by the other process so i am not able to uh, able to install the python too uh, you might have came across this kind of scenario in windows so let's say if you are using one of the processes uh, you won't be able to access that process till it get till it gets free from that so we will check with any other command apt get install and map okay so for the same it is the same process or the same it is getting used somewhere else so i will just use the other package let's say i have to use install a python 3 okay so what i will do i will just close this so that all the packages gets free and then i'll start again oh now we will check with apt get install python 2 okay now you see i close that because i wanted to kill the processes which were running by the uh, running in the background that is the reason i was not able to install the python 2 because it was already getting used by some other processes now you see the reading package list done building dependency now python is already the newest version which means i already have the python 2 installed in my environment that is the reason it did not install the python 2 and if your version is uh, not upgraded it will just upgrade your version to the latest one and remove the old one okay now by using the apt get you can also upgrade or update your linux environment so if i type apt get update it will start updating my existing uh, libraries and upgrading to the latest versions so see it is waiting for the headers yeah it got started and it will just download and update all the files or the libraries which are there in your linux now i don't want to update this so i will just um, suspend this command while running because it will take so much of time uh, it will install or it will update all the packages which are present with my linux okay so this is about the apt get now we have a apt cache okay when i type the apt cache you will see the um, information of the apt cache apt cache queries and displays available information about the installed and installable packages it works ex exclusively on the data acquired into the local cache via the update command okay so whenever we do the update command like this it will store some cache in our environment and that cache is used by apt cache to 
uh, give us the result now if i want to check how many packages the list of name of all packages which are present in the system i can simply type apt cache and package names okay so it is showing me all the packages which are already installed with me in my linux environment now if i want to search for any particular package cache what i will do i will type apt cache and then search for python the one which we installed recently you see it will show you all the libraries or the applications which are there with the python which are there with the cache so i have multiple libraries on which the python 2 is available or is dependent so i can see so many of libraries list of so many applications and libraries in here now if you want to check any other command you can just simply type apt cache and enter you will see the list what are the usage of this apt cache now it depends show the raw dependency information so the reverse dependency information search is used to search the pattern then show the source records it will show the all the source records with that particular application then we have a readable record for the package and the policy so this is about the apt cache next we have aptitude as i said aptitude is a high level package management with a text based interface which provides us a graphical user interface to check how many applications are installed in our environment so if i simply type the aptitude and enter you see the new graphical user user interface has opened and if i check what are the tasks so let's check one by one so this is the installed packages these packages are currently installed on your computer so i have 2703 packages installed with my current group or on the linux environment and i have around 62000 packages which i can install on my linux environment you don't have to install all of those you can only install the required ones now even i can check the absolute or locally created packages the packages are currently installed on your but they are not available from any apt sources which means i have installed them locally or i have created those script and installed on my computer then i have virtual packages uh, these packages are uh, around 30 35000 uh, which will provide some functionality and the task tasks are the groups of packages which provide an easy way to select the predefined set of packages for a particular purpose which means it will just uh, show you which packages you will need or require for running the any other dependent packages so if i install packages and click i'll click on the install packages it will show me all the packages which are available in that particular section so if i check and go admin section i have 107 packages for com section i have six packages for database i have 24 packages and if i enter into database it will show the main and non-free and if i enter the main yeah it will showing me the package name as well as the version of that package which is installed with me so these are the package management uh, it will show all the details related to your package and you know, how we can you can install the packages and get the information of the available packages from the linux so these are the commands which are used by the package management uh, to install or get the information of any of the packages which are apt get apt cache and aptitude so this is it for this chapter uh, thank you guys.